guess what? What? I got a job. You what? Eli Carson is opening up a general store, and he needs an assistant. Excuse me, I mean he needs a personable, intelligent, and muscular young man. Do you know why it fits that description? Ooh, how much is he paying you? I don't know, I forgot to ask. You're kidding. Well, you can ask him tonight, he's coming for dinner. He's what? What are we having? Oh, guess. So it'll go three ways, won't it? It's hash. You can't invite your boss to dinner and feed him hash. You know something? I'm married to snob. Come on, get your coat on. We're going to the hospital to see Allison. Right now? Right now. How long does it take to make hash? All right, try once more to move it, Allison. Try. No, please. I tell you, it's useless. I would if I could. You think I like lying here alone all day with nothing to do? You don't have to be alone. Your mother and your father are outside. Do you realize it's been two days since you told them to get out? How long do you intend to punish them? I didn't ask them to come here. People who love you don't wait to be asked. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see anybody. I'm so tired, I want to go to sleep. Can't sleep. All right, I'll give you something to help you relax the sedative. But it's not going to go away. Your problem, your parents, they won't go away. They can't. Because they love you. Because you're their problem. I'm sorry, she, she won't see you. Oh, how long is this going to go on, Mike? I don't know, Elliot. Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. It wouldn't be fair. The things that have happened today have convinced me that Allison is still a deeply depressed girl. Cutting her hair like that was well, like cutting away her life up to now. Is this just another way of spiting us? No, I don't think so. She's not angry at you. She's angry at herself, at what she used to be. She's angry at... The little girl with the long blonde hair. Well, she has every right to be angry. Nobody's still a child at 18. I've kept her that way. Oh, Connie. In a way, it's more like the old Allison. Taking it out on herself instead of me. Well, I've given her a sedative. She'll be asleep in a few minutes. She's not in any pain. No. No physical pain. Last time I was here to see Allison, she said I needed a special girl. Some people's advice I take seriously. <laughs> I'm afraid you can't see her now. Why not? They've given her something to make her sleep. Has something happened? Well, she's had a setback. Her left side's paralyzed again. How terrible. Well, Dr. Rossi doesn't seem to think it's anything permanent. Why don't you call his office before you come the next time, and they'll let you know whether or not you can see her. We wanted to thank you for putting the announcement of our wedding in the paper. We really appreciate it. You better smile when you say that or I won't believe you. Yeah. Well, I hope Allison feels better soon. We'll, we'll tell her that you can. Thank you. Allison would have loved to have known about Rita and Norman. It's all so wrong. What if she never does get well? What if it is permanent? Yeah, I'm going to take you home. Oh, no, no. You're exhausted. No, no, yeah. Sedatively. 
She won't hear a word you say. two days ago. Then she regressed in their terms. Now she can't move her left side at all. What was it you were going to tell me? John and I have been married for five years. You don't seem to be up to have any children. But I love children. I love children. I'd been talking to someone who upset me. And I ran down to my car. And I think I was in tears. I was too upset to risk seeing John. If you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. I drove out to the beach road. Calm, straight. Sunset. I floored the accelerator. That was it. What do you mean? That was it. That was when I hit Allison. And she never told you anything about it? Right. And you never suspected? No. Not even for a moment? No, even I've Even after been, she disappeared? I've been working very hard on the trial. Oh, yeah, the trial. It could make or break your career. I wouldn't blame you if you deliberately suppressed it. Not just a minute. Can you imagine, can you conceive of what it was like for a father to sweat out a thing like this? To know that somebody hit and ran and was walking around the streets free and clear? You may not believe this, but I do know how you felt. I used to find myself staring into the faces of everyone I pass in the square. I'd look at them very carefully to see if I see any sign of guilt. I'd say to myself, that fellow walking over there by the bandstand, he used to stop in at the Clarion now and then he'd take out an ad in the paper. He doesn't do that anymore. Or that young fella standing in front of the drugstore. Maybe he, maybe. I was living with hate. Hate was my bread and butter. And it wasn't even a man. It was a woman. A woman. Now you stay away from her. You let go of me. Carson, the law's equipped to handle this. It seems to me the law in this town is only equipped to condemn the innocent and free the guilty. Is it true? Did your husband know anything at all about it? No. No. What can we do? Nothing. Plenty. Put her in the pillory. Hang her at high noon. What good would it do, Elliot? Would it make Allison any better? I can't believe Fowler didn't know anything about it. If he did and suppressed it, he shouldn't be allowed to practice law, much less hold a public office. If he did, and I can prove it. I'll get him. Preview from the continuing story of Peyton Place. You don't like to borrow money from strangers, and I don't like to borrow, period. We're gonna make it on our own, and we're not gonna make it at all. I'm tired of being on trial for murder. Can't we just put these other things aside for the time being and get back to the, to the essentials? You don't belong behind that desk. And you don't belong in a court of law. But right now, I am behind this desk. 